In this video we're going to look at implied multiplication with variables and negative variables. So what I could do for example is um, set up a variable. In other words I have let's say 2 times 5 and that's an expression. Okay that's 10 and we'll set that equal. We'll store it to a. So that'll be a. So a will represent 10. And we can recall this by hitting alpha and a just to confirm okay a is set to 10. Well, B, let's say, is 3, right? And we can just then hit alpha, oops, excuse me, hit store, and then I'll set it to variable B, okay? And by hitting enter, it confirms that, yes, that B is 10, but I can do it again, hit alpha B, hit enter, okay, B is 3, and A is 10. So now, let's try some implied multiplication. What happens if I enter in alpha A, alpha B, and hit enter? we get 30. So if you put variables next to each other, that's an implied multiplication. I could also do other things. I could hit alpha A times alpha B plus 1. So now, if the implied multiplication is we're taking B, adding 1 to it, and then multiplying that by A. Or we can use the distributive property A times B and A times A and adding the 2. And we get 40. And that makes sense, right? B is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4, and 4 times 10 is 40. We could also do, let's see, alpha A times alpha B, right, times 9, I don't know. So B is 3, 3 times 9 is 27, times A, 270, that's what we get. So there's all types of implied multiplication here. Um, but how do we deal with the negative values? Well, if I hit alpha A, and then the negation sign, alpha b, the implied multiplication here is a times negative b. And we get negative 30. So you don't even need the multiplication sign. And of course we can enter in negate a, so the negation sign alpha a, right, and then alpha b. And of course you get the same result. This is negative a times b is the same as a times negative b. And then we can also do, of course, other combinations, negative alpha a, and then negative alpha b. Oops, I made a mistake there. Negative a, and then negate alpha b. Hit enter, and we get positive 30, because negative a times negative b, right, negative 10 times negative 3 is positive 30. So you can imply multiplication uh, just by putting two variables next to each other. And if you put the negation sign next to one of the variables, it still means you're multiplying, except for one of them is negative. Notice I'm not using the subtraction sign here because that would mean A, subtract B, right? Okay, hope this helps.